Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for December 2nd of 2023 well, it is titled Star Trails Over Beijing Ancient Observatory. So what do we see here? Well, exactly what it says in the title. We see some star trails up in the sky. And in the foreground here on Earth, we see an ancient observatory located in Beijing. Now, what do we see with this? We see some very old instruments that were used. And in fact, these were used around for the 1400s and later to be able to measure the positions of stars in the sky. Now, if we think about that, 1400s is long before the telescopes were developed. And in fact, telescopes were first used in the early 1600s. So before that, other devices had to be used to track positions of objects in the sky and to measure how their positions changed. So things like the brass armillary sphere in the foreground were used to be able to help determine positions. And we could actually very accurately term determine positions and many of the most accurate absor observatories could determine things too within a few minutes of arc minute of arc being there being 60 minutes of arc in one degree and a half a degree is about the diameter of the sun or the full moon on the sky. So you could measure things to a small fraction easily a tenth or so of the diameter of the full moon, which is not perfect, certainly very inaccurate by today's standards, but was very was among the most accurate we could get at the time. Now up in the sky, we do see the star trails. Now if you note the star trails, they form different patterns. They're not just going in straight lines, they're actually parts of circles. And each star will make a circular pattern around the sky over the course of a day. Now of course, we don't get to see that simply because part of that day the sun will be up and we will not be able to see the stars. But if you note the ones uh, toward the top of the image. Notice how they're all curving and they're concave towards the top. So you can imagine that if you went up off the edge of the image here, you would eventually get to a point where the circles would get smaller and smaller. And that would be the North Celestial Pole. And that would be the point around which all the stars on the sky appear to pivot. Now, if you look at the ones on the other side toward the horizon, note how they bend downward. So they are curved downward and that means that they are pointing towards the South Celestial Pole. Now, from this location, from Beijing, you would not be able to see the South Celestial Pole. It would never get up above the horizon. But we can still figure out its location based on how the objects are traveling and by that curvature of those paths. The ones in the middle that are going almost completely straight would be very close to the celestial equator, the dividing line between the northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere of the sky. And if you see the very bright object there behind the armillary sphere, that is actually our own moon, which was also part of this image. So that was our picture of the day for December 2nd of 2023. It was titled Star Trails Over Beijing Ancient Observatory. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Moonset. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.